This week, we're in Denver. Yeah, baby. Today we're at the Hammonds yes. Candy Factory. Yes. And they make hard candies. Yes. What else they make? Well, they make a bunch of, but mostly, yeah, it's mostly hard candies. Yeah, from yes. what I saw on the website, it was like candy canes, like the ribbons. Mint, you know, stuff, but um, sour balls, you know, all lemon the- drops. Lemon drops. But they do stuff with marshmallows because they own other candy companies, like oh, Mitchell's, okay. they bought Mitchell's, and so they make those fluffs. Yeah. Yeah. So we have no idea what to expect. We probably won't vlog in there because masks are required. Required at all times, yeah. And then we'll probably buy some candy that we shouldn't be eating, but we're going to do it oh, anyway. Oh, well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you going to go to a candy <laughs> factory and not come home with candy. Well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll let you know what we get into. <laughs> and then once we come back out, we'll let you know what we got. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty cool tour yeah and uh it was fascinating to see this massive piece of yeah. thing that <laughs> gets stretched out into, into like that big yeah <laughs> when you leave out of there at your at your tour they give you uh they're not so perfect candy canes it's the ones that, that, that broke in the process or whatever but still taste good yeah so, so we got, got uh, sugar plum and mint. and mint. So that was cool. Uh, what else did you get in there? In their oops bin. Yeah. Because they have lots of oops bins where you can get things a lot cheaper because they're oops. Nearly perfect. Yeah. But still tastes great. So we got chocolate chip marshmallows. Never had that in my life and I'm looking very forward <laughs> to having it in my life. Yeah. They're so soft. They are very fresh soft. marshmallow. You wanted to try one of their uh, caramels, so yeah. it's a chocolate caramel. Yeah, that looked really good to me. Yeah. And then we had a display case, and it had like everything you could want. Heavenly. It was heavenly. In there. And so I picked out a um, truffle. It's a bourbon <laughs> pecan yeah. truffle. Yeah. And then you got the. I, I got a, a chocolate mousse truffle. And then I got one of the, uh, what's it called? What are they called? Clusters. Clusters. Kind of like, like a turtle. Like turtles. You got the dark chocolate almond bark. Um, Ronnie was awesome. Yes. Helped us pick out our chocolate. Yes. Lori was awesome. Yes. She was just like so excited about. They're both very enthusiastic yeah. <laughs> about their jobs. I love that. That people love to go to work there. <laughs>
Today we're in downtown Denver, and I'm not sure that I could ever live in any downtown. No, never. Anywhere, because parking is terrible, the construction, construction is terrible, <laughs> but this is where the National Ballpark Museum is, so that's why we're here. That's why we're here. And we'll be back tomorrow for the game. Yeah. The afternoon game tomorrow. Uh huh. And what we didn't realize was that we were staying in Aurora. Yeah. We come to Denver, and in Aurora, the high today is like 65, so we're wearing jeans. We come down to Denver, it's like 75. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's drastic. So now we're dying. Yeah. But at least good. today's activity is indoors. Yes. So we're headed over to the ballpark museum. Yes. Right across from Chorus Field. Yes, it's a beautiful stadium. Yeah. Can't wait to see it tomorrow for the game. Yeah. Well, this is cool. This is a uh, part of the scoreboard, some bases and home plate from Fenway Park. And then they also have, um, you know, uniforms from the um, staff that worked at Fenway Park back in the day with their, with their blazers and their little, um, it looked like a bus driver hat, but it <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. But very cool history stuff from, from Fenway. Well, here's a little bit of Colorado baseball history. This picture of the old stadium where the uh, Denver Bears used to play it was also home to the Denver Broncos football team from 1960 to 2000. So they played there for a long time before they moved over to Mile High Stadium, what's now Mile High Stadium. And then actually the uh, Colorado Rockies played here for a few years too before Coors Field was built. So a lot of history took place at this field. And down here is the last known bench from the stadium seating uh, known to exist in the world that came from that stadium. So that is a pretty cool piece of Colorado sports history. This is the on deck circle from Wrigley Field. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, about to get to the turnstile at Wrigley Field. This is a rare moment. One day <laughs> you'll go through the real one. You can't wait, huh? <laughs> Stoked. We're at Lookout Mountain. Yeah. Just west of Denver. So this is also the site of uh, where Buffalo Bill is buried. Yes. And when, I guess when he died, he told his wife that he would like to be buried up here. And when he did, they honored his wishes. Yeah. And so he was buried here June 4th, 1917, which is yeah. crazy. No, June 3rd. June 3rd. Today's the 4th. June 3rd, 1917. Yeah. And today's the 4th. So yeah. 104 years and one day ago. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bill was buried on this mountain <laughs> and I can see why he wanted to be buried up here. Uh, it's freaking right. awesome. You can see the Rockies over here. It, uh, he said that on a clear day, you can see four states from Lookout Mountain. How did he know? In 1917, how did he know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's super cool up here, man. Yeah, it's beautiful. So glad we came up here. Yeah. This is awesome. You can see everything from here. You can see Golden, Colorado. Mm -hmm. You can see downtown Denver way down oh, yeah. here. You probably yeah. can't see it in the GoPro. So I'll zoom in with the good lens and be yeah. able to see it and stuff. But I mean, in front of the skyline, you can see the football stadium and all of downtown from here. And, and Denver is a mile high. <laughs> we're higher than So them. we're definitely 
high. high. <laughs> we, we came to Colorado to get high. No, we didn't. Huh? No, we didn't. <laughs> like no. elevation wise. Ele okay. <laughs> you need to specify these. Yeah, things. I guess we do. <laughs> Oh, he just came out of the museum. That was so cool in there. Very neat museum. Stuff I had no idea about Buffalo I, Bill. Yeah, I had a different vision of him, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just saw him as like a showman. Yeah. And, you know, doing the Wild West show. But um, I learned that he's a Medal of Honor recipient. Yeah, that was great. From the Indian Wars. Yeah. And uh, so he has his Medal of Honor in there. Yeah, I didn't know that. The last that buffalo that he killed is in there. Yeah. So that's very cool. That was cool. Yeah, and... Um, there's just all kinds of memorabilia in there. Stuff about Annie Oakley. Yeah, a lot of Annie Oakley. And history. it was really too, cool too because we kind of tie it together because when we went to Raton uh, yeah. at the uh, St. James, they stopped there. It was one of their stops, stops along the way yeah. for their for their show. So Annie Oakley stayed there and Buffalo Bill stayed there at the St. James. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, we'll leave a link up here so you can go see it because that's a really cool video too. I think the most flooring thing for me was that he actually came to Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Poplar Bluff, Missouri, <laughs> my hometown. And so there's a book in the back, there's a desk, and there's there's a, a book that shows every place that he ever stopped. Yeah. You know, so we're looking through places that he we have lived and traveled. And so we're looking through uh, Missouri. And I'm, of course, I'm expecting Kansas City, St. Louis, you know, yeah, all the big, typical big stuff. Cities. But then I see Poplar Bluff, Missouri. One, only one stop. He stopped once, one. but he but was there. He was there. I think it was 1878 or something. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll overlay a, a picture. That was but crazy. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna go see the rest. We're gonna go see the grave, and we're gonna go see the uh, the teepee. And I guess the teepee was was built as kind of like a um, a restaurant and stuff for after his grave was already put here. Yeah. It was a restaurant, and so that souvenirs tourists would have something to do. Yeah, up here. because his his foster son. Yeah built it and then when his uh, foster son and his wife both passed That's away it. it was given over to the city of denver yeah so now the city of denver manages it but they, they do a really good job out here it's very clean very beautiful yeah. and i can't wait to see the grave yeah it's gonna be fun too. Oh, back behind us there is Buffalo Bill's grave. Yes. It's pretty cool to see. It is very cool. But we like visiting graves. We do. It's kind of our thing. But I could see the draw to want to be buried up at the top of the Lookout Mountain. For sure. It's beautiful up here. And it wasn't without controversy though. No. Well, nothing ever is. Well, because, um, you know, Wyoming, Cody, Wyoming, which is, you he, know. He founded it. He founded that town and kind of built it up and did a lot of stuff there. So Wyoming feels like he should be there. Yes, they did. And he was from Nebraska. And they felt like he should so they, be there. Yeah, they felt like he should be there. And he wanted to be buried here, according to his, his wife. And, and his friends. Friends and family. When we watched that video, uh, yeah. what's her name, something Griffith, was one of his dearest, closest friends. Yeah. And she said, she was here with him, and he said, this is this is where I want to be buried. Yeah, and I guess there was some people from Wyoming and, and Nebraska who uh, had like threatened to come dig him up dig and steal him yeah. and take him back to their state. And yeah. so the uh, Colorado crazy. National Guard had to be out here in tanks Patrolling. guarding the grave. And then once she died, she was buried out here also. Yeah. And then they poured like, what was it, like a hundred tons ton of, of concrete. A bunch of tons of concrete 
on top of the grave so they're not going anywhere the monument, yeah because so. <laughs> it was only a little marker at first but yeah. then they made it a poured the concrete made it massive so it it's a yeah. deterrent to try to dig it up and to avoid more controversy uh out here during the ceremony she insisted that they open the casket because yeah they were saying is it really him inside so before lowering him in she had them open it so everybody could, could see verify it him. and then watch him go it's into crazy the ground how far back controversy in <laughs> conspiracy death. theories and everything goes into play like, death brings out the worst in family it does. <laughs> but it's very cool to see yeah uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help vets in the road uh, everything you need to know is in the description of this video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.